my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman and Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law issues in Michigan, and we provide videos in order to educate our clients. Our, our goal is to have our clients or the people who follow us to be amongst the most legal, legally educated non-lawyers around, and that's why we do uh, these videos. Um, if you want to find out more about our videos, you want to watch them, subscribe to our channel for topics that are of, of interest to you. Today we're going to talk about, in the context of family law, we're going to talk about insurance claims. Why? Well, because in the context of a family life, there might be an accident and there might be an insurance claim. And what are you going to do if the insurance company denies your claim? Well, today we're going to talk about this, and let's say the context is an auto accident. It's a very common occurrence. Um, it could be an auto accident and there are medical bills to pay, AAA is supposed to pay the bill, they don't pay it. Or, how about another context? You go away on vacation, a pipe bursts in your house, you got an insurance claim, it's State Farm, they don't want to pay it. What are you going to do? Well, you can exhaust your remedies with them and keep pursuing it and appeal it and appeal it. And they, they have all sorts of, you know, procedures set up to appeal it multiple times. But really, um, the only thing that that accomplishes is it kind of saps your energy. Um, they wear you down that way. I think if your insurance company denies your claim, the best thing you should do is file a lawsuit against them for breach of contract. Contact your lawyer, have your lawyer file a claim if it's a no-fault claim because it's an auto or if it's a homeowner's claim because your pipe burst. Have your lawyer file a lawsuit against the insurance company for breach of contract alleging that you had a policy, you paid your premiums, the policy was enforced, the event occurred, it was an allowable event under the law, and they don't want to pay. And then you'll be entitled to the interest, uh, the uh, damages under the contract, interest that's owed on it, whatever costs there are associated with making the claim. There are certain things that you would get as part of the claim. Now, I wouldn't recommend that you run to do it immediately because the lawyer is going to cost you money. As soon as you file that lawsuit, whatever negotiation was going on is going to come to a grinding halt. So you don't necessarily want to do that. But what you do want to do is not delay from the point in time where you feel that you're not really getting the uh, you know appropriate care from the insurance company. Now, sometimes it means that they don't pay the claim at all. Sometimes they offer you for your loss you know, 15000 for the car, and you feel the value is really 18000 You know, so, so sometimes it's not a question of denial or not denial. It's a question of degree. They're willing to pay, but not as much as you'd like. And then you have to ask yourself, do I get lawyers involved? Because remember one thing. If you're set on 18000 and they're only willing to pay fifteen, you file a lawsuit. You're not going to get a fifteen and have a lawsuit over the three. They're not going to pay you anything until it's resolved. And so you have to ask yourself, is it worth it to file a claim, pay the lawyer, do all of this only for that difference? Now, that difference may be a, a significant amount of money. It may be what we call a de minimis amount of money, a small amount of money. So obviously you have to decide what would be cost effective for you in pursuing that claim. But if they deny it, always keep in mind the possibility of filing a lawsuit to protect your rights. If you have any questions about that, reach out. We'll be glad to help you out.